once in a while, there's a story that shoots across the national consciousness. A story that at face value seems so preposterous that people actually have a hard time believing it. Usually, it's some petty squabble between teammates, or an insane purchase by a guy after a new contract. But this time, it's actually a rather refreshing, modest story. I'm talking about the tale of Zach Seiler, the 25-year-old defensive end for the Miami Dolphins, who, in his second season in the league, still chooses to live in an RV during the season. Yes, while many of his teammates, I'm sure, are enjoying the lavish real estate that South Beach has to offer, Seiler is cozying up in a mobile home. Y'all are gonna laugh, but I actually stay in an RV during the season. So I've been in this for two years now. Okay, so, all right, you, have, you yeah. have to talk about that. I wanna hear about yeah. that. Yeah, I gotta fifth wheel I stay in during the seasons. Seiler, a seventh round pick of the Baltimore Ravens in the 2018 NFL Draft, who has since made a nice little role for himself on a steadily improving Miami Dolphins defense, is just not ready to settle down in Florida. The majority of his family is still back home in Michigan, where the defensive end played his college ball at a little known Division II school called Ferris State. Ferris State is in Big Rapids, Michigan, which just so happens to be about a two hour drive from where he grew up in the 10,000 person city of Howell, which goes to show just how connected Siler still is to the Great Lakes region. I do have roots in Sebring, which is about two hours from where I know Joe's asked about the ranch. Um, that's where I'm kind of my home base, I guess you could say, is I have family in Michigan and I love going back and seeing them. Even though Siler does have some family in Florida, he still spends the majority of his offseason back home in Michigan, so he doesn't really feel the need to start dumping money into an upscale place in Miami. Which, when you think about it, it sort of makes sense, because although he has started to solidify a role within the Dolphins' defensive line, things can obviously change in a second in the NFL, especially as a seventh round pick. I mean, Siler learned that the hard way when the Baltimore Ravens decided late in the 2019 season that they were ready to cut ties with him seemingly out of nowhere. So having the added flexibility is a huge plus, not just for any potential team changes, but also for going back to live with his family and for off-season training. Here's how Siler explained it. I love going back and seeing them. In season, I stay in an RV. For me, it works. It's simple. I love it. It's easy. I can get up and go postseason and do whatever I need to. Wherever I'm training, I can park it and train there. Campgrounds are little fit RV parks. Find a little spot and set up there for a few months. Florida was great because, you know, everyone comes down here in the winter to live, so there's plenty of spots, especially right now. It is a rather entertaining thought, though. Imagine you were RVing around the country on vacation, and you see this 6 foot 6 inch, 300 plus pound behemoth of a man lumbering around the campgrounds. What is your first thought? You know, besides how in the world does that giant live in a mobile home? My mind would go to a few different places. The guys that are in our campground, usually they're vacationing, so everyone's happy, everyone always waves. It's, it's not the typical living their daily lives, usually they're on vacation. It is kind of weird getting a new neighbor three, four times a week. And I all but guarantee that no matter how athletic Siler looks, I would not assume he is a professional football player. Even as a guy who is a draft day afterthought who's on a minimum salary contract, he's still making $44,118 a week. It isn't like Siler can't afford an apartment. But according to Siler, the whole situation just sort of works for him. Why bother rubbing shoulders with the city slickers when you can live in a world where people are perpetually vacationing? Even if you're living in an RV, that sounds like a much better quality of life. Especially for a guy like Siler, who is described as an outdoorsman. A designation that, upon learning the last reason the RV suits his lifestyle, might actually be a bit of an understatement. Remember when we were talking about Siler making 45 grand a week? If you were worried that that money was simply burning a hole in his mattress, rest assured it isn't. Siler, an avid hunter, invested in a game ranch that is an easy two hour RV ride from the Dolphins facility which he can trek out to if he needs to get away. I can't say that the RV life is necessarily the life for me, but good for Siler. Hopefully, he keeps performing down in Miami, and that RV stays on the nearby campgrounds for a long time to come. But what about you? What do you think about an NFL player living in his RV? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.